rejoicing, which means that they went away singing. But this morning's reflection, it's not a sermon. I'm not really doing an exposition of the scripture. But why can't we sing carols during Advent? I said it the way I hear it. Why can't we sing Christmas carols during Advent? Let me, let me ask you. What do you think? What do you think? You don't know because you want to sing carols, right? Any idea why we don't sing them during? And we did sing some this year. You've got to admit, I, I learned not to poke y'all with a sharp stick every Sunday. What do you think, Ann? When Christmas comes, it's that much sweeter. Okay. Any other answers? Alexa, you had a good one. Uh, I like Advent because it's a time of preparation. You anticipate and get ready. It's a time of anticipation and getting ready. As opposed to Walmart and Hallmark that think it's Christmas sometime around August anymore, <laughs> right? Was Jesus born in December? We don't know, but probably not. So why the 25th of December? There is a reason for that. Hmm? It was a secular holiday. Well, not even secular, it was pagan. It was just pure. It was the um, winter solstice. People wanted to go out into the woods and make merry and get into mischief. And the priests of the day said, you know, what a good time for a celebration. Let's make this the feast day of the Lord's birth. And so they could still have their trees and their lights and their parties, but it had a Christian overtone to it then. Sort of what the world does now. A few years ago in Times Square, there was a huge, huge billboard that covered most of uh, a skyscraper. And it said, keep the Mary and dump the myth. The Mary being Santa, the myth being Jesus' birth. It was put up by an association of atheists. And just like the Grinch, they could not keep Christmas from coming. But Alexis said Christmas is a time of preparation, and it is. But for Christ's people in the church throughout the centuries, it's not a preparation for the birth of Jesus, because guess what? That already happened. It is preparation for us, more than preparation, reminder that Christ is coming again. This is our time to say the Christ who was, the Christ who is, is the Christ who is coming again. And just like if you go from Palm Sunday to Easter without making a stop on Thursday or Friday, you have celebration upon celebration. Now, I had tuned my car radio to an all-Christmas, all-the-time station. I turned it on this morning when I turned the key in my car, the radio was on, and I heard Lionel Richie singing all night long. <laughs> that was not about Christmas. <laughs> because the world has given it up. It's gone already. It's packed away for another year. Now, Lisa, you would have left your tree up had it not just given up the ghost of Christmas past, present, and future. I know people who, I've passed Christmas trees on the side of the road on my way here, waiting to be picked up because the world is ready to move on. That's why we don't sing a lot of carols during Advent. We sing the songs of hope and expectation. We remember that the world was a hard-hearted place before the coming of Christ. And it's still pretty hard, which is why Christ needs to live in and through us. So I want you to keep singing. I want you to sing. Christmas isn't about making us feel good, which is why I think Hallmark starts playing the movies now. Do you know I saw a Hallmark commercial, and I, I'm sorry, I know you love Hallmark, and I'm not really trying to beat them up, but every Friday from January to Christmas, they're going to play a Christmas movie. That's how desperate the world is to feel good. But we have the truth of God in Jesus Christ with us every day. It's not about feeling good. It's not about being merry. It's about being free from sin and the power of death. It's about having an identity beyond ourselves to be the ambassadors of Christ in the world. It is time for us to sing and sing and sing even louder so that all that we do and all that we are is a reflection of the glory of Jesus Christ. Part of the reason we're doing a hymn sing today is because you want to sing carols, right? You still want to sing? Yes, 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 yes. Part of it is because some of us are really tired. 
I preached five sermons in three days, five different sermons in three days. And this afternoon is Jeannie Gross's funeral service. But you know what we're going to sing at her service? We're going to sing, Hail the heaven-born Prince of Peace. Hail the Son of Righteousness. Light and life to all he brings, risen with healing in his wings. Sing with me. Mild he lays his glory by, born that we no more may die, born to raise us from the earth, born to give us second birth. Hark the herald angels sing, Glory to the newborn king. As much about Easter as it is about Christmas. And Jeannie loved Christmas, and we're going to sing her away from this world into the arms of her Savior where she already rests, because that is who we are in Jesus Christ. So in that regard, how can we keep from singing? So get ready. We're going to sing a little bit more in just a few moments.